Hey guys, it's Tori and I'm here right now with Avion Rowe. How are you guys doing? Hello, hi, we're doing very good. Very good? Yeah, but yeah, today's the third day of uh, our tour with Metro Station, assuming we survive yes. and our new friends in Lansifer. Mm -hmm. So we're having a blast, it's brand new. We're still, everybody's yeah. still energetic. It's such a nice mix on this tour because it's sort of like the current bands with some throwback bands, sort of like a nice mix there. And we like think about, we're a middle band. Yeah, we're kind of holding yeah. the ground yeah. Whatever the hell that means. I mean, you've been around for a hot minute. Yeah, but, but... no one knows us, that's what it means. <laughs> <laughs> but now they will, because yeah. we're doing this interview, right? Um, but we're going to start with a few finished sentence questions, just some fun ones for you guys. Okay. Um, so you were the most starstruck when? <laughs> In uh, 2008, one of my one of my other bands played Warp Tour, and it was like, maybe like one in the morning or something, and they had this big after party, it was in Dallas, and uh -huh. you had to be 21 to get in, and I actually went and snuck into the party, and I wasn't 21, Ooh. and none of my friends could get in, so I was like, well, fuck it, I'll just, story. I'll just go back to the, I'd rather be with my friends than, than there. So I went back, and Haley Williams was not 21 either, Ooh. so we ran into her at the parking lot, and I totally got starstruck, and just met her, and was like, I love your shit, yeah. It's you sold of, Haley out to her. Like, some, that's cool, oh, though, because sometimes you there. forget that, like, Paramore used to be a Warped Tour band, so yeah, yeah. pretty it was, cool. It was, I think it was 2000, maybe it was 2007, actually, I don't know. Someone Sounds like around me. the time. Yeah, somebody let us know. Um, so what about you? I met Patrick Stump when I was like 13 years old, and like I would, I was just like, I, <laughs> I was like, I'm a huge fan. I couldn't really say much else. I'm sure, he's we got never a, heard that before. Well, it was actually like wait, <laughs> it was before time. like it was before Fall Out Boy. It was Fall Out Boy like they opened up for Mest. What year oh, was wow. it? like 2003 or something oh, shit. or something yeah, like that? Like, they were just about to put Take This to Your Grave out, and I was just like, I love you guys. You guys are great. <laughs> it, was, it was awesome. So now the highlight of your career so far was when? I, well, for me, it was putting out our, our most recent record in separation. I'm, even after all this time has passed, it's been over a year since we put it out, I'm just still so proud of it and what we created as, as bandmates and as brothers. I'm just really proud of that. And uh, to this day, it's probably what I'm most what I'm most proud of. Just since we put it out, the whole thing's just kind of been one big ass highlight. Like all the tours, all the shows, just all the memories that we've made just the whole time. Just, I couldn't pick one out. We're a band that's really good at celebrating uh, like little milestones. So even just the small things, we're like, yes, this happened, whatever, you know. Yeah. Next one, the song you currently have on repeat is? Um, you've actually, I just, honestly, that new Halsey record. I couldn't, Ooh. there's a couple songs off that. I finally just recently got into it. I turned him on to it, yeah. <laughs> I, like, I took my headphones out the other day and I was like, dude, this record's really good. He's like, you're six months old. <laughs> Sometimes you need like um, kind of a break in your life to, to make room to allow new music in. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you like slam with stuff, you're like, I don't have the effort to put into listening to a new record. What's right? the one song though? Heaven and Hiding. That song's really yeah. good. Yeah. I really like that song. Well, okay, actually. same answer. I like I like, I like all the Nelson shit. True, true. And last one here, your favorite thing to do when you're not on tour is? Sleep. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm gonna go with sleep actually. We, uh, <laughs> really, we work really hard all year round, even when we're not on tour, especially probably when we're not on tour. We, yeah. Yeah. we write a lot, a lot of music. It's good thing you guys are always thinking. Always yeah. Yeah. yeah, always yeah. working, yeah. And so let's talk about this new album that you guys are yeah. so proud of, In yes. Separation, it's out now. And I read in another interview that perseverance was the main theme of this album. Um, so why was that message just so important for you guys to convey? I really don't think we set out to write a record about perseverance. I think it kind of became a theme uh, just by the fact that the world kept seemed to it keep it kept seeming to put obstacles in our way, and it, it really became just the theme just by habit. Yeah. You know, the only way to get it done was to, to persevere. The only way to support it and believe in it and fund it and work on it every single day and live it and breathe it was perseverance. And Eventually, because, we were, we were yeah. only writing it for ourselves. Yeah. That's really, really what we like, have No to do, one yeah. else is listening. Let's just write something that we're going to be proud of and yeah. fuck mission accomplished. But it really wasn't like, let's set out and write this thing and, and teach the world a lesson that perseverance, it was really was our own lesson that we learned, and that's what we're trying to say. Um, what were some of those challenges that you guys were sort of facing during the oh, process, man. and how did that influence man. you guys? Just, with, you know, tr with trying to like stay afloat, I mean, like, you, know, you gotta pay bills, live in a house, and we were all living in a house together trying to write the album. It's just, all right, let's keep a roof over our heads and yeah. try and get this album the best that it possibly can and, you know, do everything the right way in our hearts. So like it was just you know, it was hard to try and keep going doing that and just we were so all into it like you know we a lot of it was self produced at first we wrote a lot of our stuff ourselves and then we went and cleaned it up out in Oregon a lot of effort a lot of time put into it yeah, a lot of work I think that's something a lot of people don't realize is that being a band gets expensive mm -hmm. so I guess this is my shout out of like if you support a band like buy their music you know support buy the music merch, sing live yeah all that Tell stuff it's important um, yeah I, you answered that really good well, I think thank you yeah. And so which song do you think people who haven't heard the band before should check out from this album as a first impression? That's kind of a loaded question. First, it's a good question because 
But one of the things I think that we've always kind of loosely prided ourselves on is that we're a pretty versatile band. We have songs like The Escape that are, that are pretty heavy and energetic. And then we have songs like Into the Rest, which is one of the more popular ones that's like this slow anthematic one. And we never really thought of ourselves as being that band that much. But because for a lot of reasons, it's the one that everyone kind of knows, it kind of is the band that, that we are, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, man, I, I don't know. I think the best advice for someone to get whatever the hell Avian Row is, would be to listen to a whole, a whole album. Just make take 48 minutes and sit through the whole thing. Because one song really can't do it. Which song did you choose as like the first single from the album? Um, well, Into the Rest was. Into the rest, but okay. with Kellen Quinn on it, how could we pick anything else? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he's the man. We'd be what shooting ourselves in the foot. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. Um, but you guys are on the Swerve Metro station right now. Yes. So what are the plans for after this? What's coming up? Just like we kind of spoke about earlier, is to get back home, get in the studio, keep yep. writing, and figure out the next chapter. That's true. It has been about a year since mm -hmm. the last album came out, so it's, a, yeah, it's about that time, time isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Awesome. Time is flying. I'm excited to hear some new stuff from you guys yep. soon. And everybody who hasn't heard In Separation yet, make sure you check it out, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.